Good evening, everyone. It's official. North Central basketball standout Jason Whitens will join the Western Michigan Broncos, the Mid-American Conference, next season. Whitens had plenty of family, coaches, and teammates on hand for the ceremony in the Jets' gym this afternoon. He became the sixth UP player in basketball history to score more than 2,000 points on the way to helping his team win three straight Class D state championships and an 83 game winning streak. He's been the UP Class D player of the year three times as well as first team All-State Associated Press three times. Whitens received the full offer from the Broncos for a scholarship Wednesday morning in a phone call even though he wasn't happy with his shooting when he worked out in Kalamazoo. I was a little bit nervous. I'm, I'm a guy that doesn't really get nervous much, but you know, since uh, this was a place I could see myself, you know, that workout, you know, meant a little bit more to me. And uh, you know, he just said, "Don't worry about it. Just uh, you know, go play how you play." And uh, I thought I didn't shoot the ball very well, but uh, you know, he just said, "You know, uh, you know, we know you're a competitor, and we know what you can do." So that workout was just to see what type. Of guy I was on the court when I'm just by myself and when I am struggling. You know, I'm a perfectionist, so, you know, uh, but I don't worry about the little things. I just go in there and do my best. Western Michigan is coached by Steve Hawkins, who will begin his 15th season with the Broncos next year. Broncos were 16 and 15 in overall and 11 and 7 in the Midwest in the West Division of the Mid-American Conference last season. Meanwhile, Marquette Senior High School has introduced Alex Tizio as its new athletic director. Tizio was a multi-sport athlete more than a dozen years ago, playing football, soccer, and running cross-country in the same autumn. He cross-country skied in the winter with the Superior Land Ski Club and then ran track in the spring. After high school, he kicked for the Michigan Tech football team and graduated with a degree in business administration. He had jobs at California Riverside, Saginaw Valley State, Wayne State, and recently has served as associate athletic director for NMU. The opportunity to come back uh, and lead the athletics department here was one that really interested me. Um, I've got a strong interest in, in mentoring tomorrow's student athletes uh, at the college level as well as today's student athletes at the high school level. Um, so I, I really uh, am excited about the challenge to provide that mentorship and leadership uh, and help them in their academic and athletic endeavors. And before you can have the job, Yes, you better be sure you make an extra point. No problem. Tizio will take over for Blaze Zimmer. Zimmer is leaving because his wife has a medical re residency outside the area. Boys High School Tennis, let's go to Menominee. The Maroons hosting Escanaba this afternoon. Great Northern Conference battle. Second set tiebreaker in the near court. That's Menominee's Jonathan Antela. Josh Grassel of Escanaba in the far court with the nice cross court winner right there. Moments later, Antla is going to tee off on this forehand down the line. That one works very well. And then Antla is going to get an overhead past Grassel on this next sequence. This match went three sets, a couple of tiebreakers as well. Antla was the winner, but Escanaba won the team score 6-2. Westwood defeated Gladstone 7-1. The Green Bay Packers finally made a pick in the NFL draft, taking University of Washington cornerback Kevin King with the first selection of the second round tonight to fill a big need on defense. He's 6'3 and adds speed and size to a secondary that was burned in the passing game and maligned by injuries. The Oakland Raiders added Michigan State defensive tackle Malik McDowell with the third pick of round two. The Chicago Bears moved down a little bit and then took tight end Adam Sheehan from the Ashland Eagles of the GLIAC, first GLIAC pick. Lions added Florida cornerback Jalen Tease Tabor with the 53rd selection. Packers stayed in the defensive backfield, choosing Josh Jones from North Carolina State. To the third round, Western Michigan back in the spotlight. Offensive tackle Taylor Moten was selected by Carolina. Baltimore followed later with Michigan defensive tackle Chris Wormley. Dallas chose a second Michigan Wolverine, grabbing defensive back Jordan Lewis. With the 93rd pick, the Packers took Auburn defensive tackle Montrevious Adams. At number 95, Seattle selected Wolverine safety Delano Hill. And at 96, the Lions chose Kenny Galladay, a wide receiver from Northern Illinois. Cross-country skiing and cross-country running coach Joe Hagenmiller has resigned after 14 years. He's moving to Duluth to pursue other opportunities. Hagenmiller has seen many changes from funding to the development of the tech ski trails. He's coached over 40 national qualifiers, seven NCAA All-Americans, and a number of junior All-Americans. 
He's twice been named Central Collegiate Ski Association Coach of the Year, 2010 for the men and 2012 for the women, and a couple of championship teams as well. In his college days, Hagen Miller was a standout in cross country, Nordic skiing, and track and field at NMU. In high school baseball, Bark River Harris needed one extra inning to beat Kingsford in the first game 7-6 and then swept the doubleheader 7-4. And Marquette turned back second on Nouvelle 4-2. to two. 